<sighs> All right, Dan Harmon Story Circle, you ready? You need go, search, find, take, return, change. Need. You need to inform the audience that something isn't right. Go, your MC or main character crosses the threshold into chaos. Search, your MC goes through a series of trials. Find, meeting the goddess. Your MC thinks he found what he's looking for. Take, meeting your maker. Your MC faces his ultimate trial. Return, bringing it home. Your MC goes back into his or her familiar situation as he was always accustomed to. Change, master of both worlds. Now because your MC has gone through the entire story, we perceive him or her differently because he's learned so much. So the Dan Harmon story circle is a story structure technique that is based off of the hero's journey pioneered by Rick and Morty co-creator Dan Harmon. The uh, so-called story circle is my attempt to remove all of the hard and repeated work from the task of breaking a story. Right here I'll walk you through the entire story circle while creating a short film based off of this story structure technique. So if you're interested, stick around. Now let's get into it. You, establish your protagonist. You're going to be showcasing different characteristics about your MC. So your MC starts off in a good spot or bad. Pick one. For the sake of my story, let's say he's in a bad spot. This is negative. Quick tip, whenever you identify a story event value charge, rather it be positive or negative, this dynamically tracks how your story transitions from one value charge to the next from a positive experience to a negative experience or a negative experience to a positive experience. Now this is really important because if you stay too long on one value charge, your audience gets very bored and they'll start to feel like nothing's happening. Back to you. The MC usually realizes that he or she is not as happy as he could be for some reason and something happens to cause him to accept a challenge. Now based on a scenario in Resident Evil 4 I'm gonna create a somewhat original story. A wounded boy, we'll call him Nile, wakes up stomach down in a cabin in the woods with his hands bound behind his back. So Nile is not as happy as he could be, right? This story starts out with a clear negative value charge, right? Because he doesn't want to be tied up anymore in a cabin in the woods, so he needs to get out. He stares out the window and sees a dead body with a knife inside of it. Need, something isn't right. Your hero is gonna be held back from achieving his need. He or she realizes that achieving his goal is going to be a lot harder than he originally thought. Then you end this section by transitioning the story into a state of deeper chaos. Niall needs to cut himself free of this rope, right? And he thinks he knows how. Positive story event, there's hope. So let that moment sink in for Niall. But as he steps out of the cabin, we move into the next stage of our story. Go! He faces the unfamiliar. He sinks deeper into negativity and sees the possibility of his worst fear, death in this case, being realized. Quick tip, here we see that there are primal values at stake in this story, right? Primal values in the story is life, versus death. So he encounters an obstacle that opposes his need, but we've still got hope. So back into our story. The body impaled with the knife starts rising. Niall tries to retreat back into the cabin, but realizes it's now locked from the inside, transitioning the story into a deeper state of chaos. This is negative. The undead creature begins to approach Niall, so Niall is now terrified. And there's always this moment where your MC is thinking, well, I'm not only screwed, but I'm worse off than I was originally. This is very bad, but he realizes that he must face this creature if he's got any chance of survival. Search. He undergoes his first trial or test. Finds a way to get what he wants, then he finds hope, relief, and or happiness. Now as the creature begins to creep towards Nile, Nile remains completely still as the undead creature begins to sniff Nile's neck. The creature steps away from Nile and begins to drone away. This is positive. Nile pulls the knife slowly from behind the undead creature as it walks away. Find. He exists in newfound happiness. Then discovers the object of his desire will be taken for good. In this case, it's Nile's safety. Nile now cuts the rope, but mistakenly cuts through flesh. The scent redirects the undead's attention straight at Nile. This is bad. Negative. 
the undead becomes enraged with bloodlust as it runs towards Nile. Nile manages to tie the undead creature to the cabin's locked doorknob. This is positive. The creature tugs at the door, squealing for reinforcements. This is negative. Take, meeting your maker. Now this releases the result of the negative experience that reinforces what we've learned in find. Now back to our story. Niall hears squeals in the distance coming from undead all around him as they approach the cabin. This is bad. Niall's in sheer panic mode right now. He's never been more terrified. He faces down the undead creature, recalling how manic it got after he shed fresh blood. Niall turns to the creature, slits his wrist, dropping infinitely more blood, and dangles his wrist in front of the beast. The creature goes so crazy that it pulls the doorknob out of its socket, thus opening the cabin door from the outside. This is positive. Niall stabs the creature in the head before he's attacked and heads straight back into the cabin and locks the cabin door behind him with the deadbolt. Quick tip, notice I said with the deadbolt, right? So we would have had to, in order to properly introduce the fact that there was another lock on the door, we would have had to show the deadbolt somewhere at the very beginning of the story, preferably in need or you, so that you're not paying something off without setting something up. You never want to pay something off without setting something up and you never want to set something up without paying something off. Return, bringing it home. Your MC returns back to his or her familiar situation. Niall hears all of the creatures approach the cabin, closing in on him. Niall takes his shirt off, ties up his cut, and squeezes so that there's no more blood coming out. He waits as more undead arrive. The undead all surround the cabin. They sniff, they listen, they smell and hear nothing. The undead begin to drone slowly around the cabin. Change. Now this is a demonstration of your MC being the master of both worlds. He or she steps out into the world with a new state of mind. After Niall realizes the beasts from outside begin to settle and drone, Niall steps outside walking through the crowd of the undead with his infected neck exposed. He puts his earbuds in and walks slowly away from the cabin in the woods and away from the creatures. So even though we've outlined all of the plot points for this film, we are missing critical elements here that would make this short work better. So this would be what's known as our first draft. And then after we'd go through this draft to begin to build out our emotional story and give these plot points some more depth in order to create a more well fleshed out story. And to make this happen, we'd ask ourselves, how can I make this experience my MC is enduring more impactful on his life overall? How can I refine this story so that this experience leaves a stronger impact on our MC? We'd wanna make sure that even though we've only known this kid for a bit, the audience can latch onto him quickly due to how important this experience was for him. This little sliver of life that we're getting from this character, Niall, left a huge impact on how Niall lives the rest of his life. Definitely look at any of my other videos, they're pretty good. If you're a filmmaker, grab a clover key. I'm gonna have a Shopify link around somewhere. The clover key is a camera plate screwdriver and a bottle opener I created for you guys to support the channel, so please be sure to grab one watch my film so we can chat about it later. And it's always a pleasure talking to you guys. Till next time, peace.